Okay, as promised, I'm going to walk you through some of the tips and tricks for Hallmark Card Studio 2010. Um, I've launched the program, and today I'm just going to focus on a Valentine's Day card. So I'm going to go down here and click on Holiday. Select Valentine's Day, and then you're going to see displayed a whole lot of choices on who you'd like to send your Valentine to. I'm just going to choose friend. So I'm going to select this cute little cat one. And as you can see, this comes up. Let me zoom back out a little bit. And basically what I wanted to show you is how to put sentiments on the inside of your handmade cards. Um, or to create a card that you can later embellish. So what I want to do first of all, you can, I'll show you over here, you can look, you're looking at the front cover now. If you click on the second button, you would, if there was a verse already pre-populated here, uh, that would be I'm going to click on the right. And so here's the sentiment for this card. Every thought of you puts a smile in my heart. Happy Valentine's Day. So that would be kind of cool for anybody. And then lastly, I'm going to go back up here and you can see the back. Now, what I sh showed you in the video for my husband's Valentine was uh, I talked about how you can display or not display the Hallmark logo. Uh, if you wanted to see the logo, you can go up to the tools, sorry, go up to the tools bar, make sure you can see that. And then you'll see at the very last selection is display logos on back of cart. So that's how you toggle the Hallmark logos. So if you want to have the, the logo on there, you can. Um, if you go into Art Studio, you can put your own name here. Um, or you can go back and click on this again, and it'll take the logos off. So what I would want to do for this, because I'm going to do some uh, because I'm going to do my own front to the card, is I want to remove this um, these graphics. So I'm going to go down here to Art Studio, click on Art Studio, and now when I click on these elements on the card, I can just remove them. So I'm going to remove, I'm going to use my delete key and remove that. And then the next thing, I believe this is going to be everything, I'm just going to click anywhere on the card and click on delete and now I've removed the front of the card. So when I print this on my um, plain uh, card stock, uh, uh, nothing is going to print on the front, nothing's going to print on the middle or, or the left side of the inside. On the right, every thought of you puts a smile on my heart is going to print and then on the back Right now, nothing would be there, but I can go in and I can click up here on text and I can type in here, TJ's Crafts and Gifts. And then I'm going to hit OK. And you can see that's really big, and I don't want it to be that big. So I'm going to go over here into my font size. Just highlight that. You could use your up and down arrows to lower or um, increase the size of your font, but I think I want something around a 13. Yeah, that looks good. I'm going to now click on the little handle here, and now I'm going to move this down to the bottom, about right there. I'm going to click on the centering button, so it's in the center of the text. I'm going to click on my color and change it to the color that I want. I think today, that's not a simple color. So my inside color is that. If I want a line, then I go outside color and I click on that. The black, so now I have the pink with the black outline. Uh, I click on OK. And I want a different font, so I'm going to click over here on the font button. And I'm going to scroll through and I want to find something. A font that I like, um, and depending on the fonts that are on your computer are the choices that you will have. Um, where's the one I like? Do, 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 do. Boa Script. 
Okay, so now if I wanted to add a graphic, I can click up here on clip art and I'm going to look at, um, let's see, I know that in here somewhere, where's the holidays? That's what I was looking for. Sorry about that. Valentine's Day. So you can change, you know, every card you could have a different or a logo or a different clip art based on the Based on the holiday, um, I'm just going to pick one of these, do, 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 do. oh I like that one. And then you can change the size of it, and then you can place it wherever you want it. And there you go. So that'll be my back logo, That's, that'll be my inside, and this will be my front, will be blank when I print it. Okay, so now we're ready to print. So the first selection we have is what size paper are we using. In my case, I'm going to be using the 8.5 by 11, but if you click from the drop down, you'll see that you have many choices that you can choose from. I'm going to be using two pieces of separate pieces of paper, one for the outside cover and one for the liner. So I'm going to choose, under my select print format, single fold two page. And so it's going to print separately on each page. If you just wanted to use one uh, page and not have a liner on the inside and have the inside sentiment print directly on that page, then you'd pick single fold one page. And then the software will tell you, once it prints the top cover, to turn it over and put it back in the printer and print the second, print, print the inside. If you're just using this software just for the sentiments, um, for the inside of a card you've already made, I would recommend using the quarter fold. Then that way you just, uh, it's going to show up on one page over here in the corner. If you have a logo, that'll show up, and you can cut both of them out separately and um, use some adhesive to put them on your uh, the inside of your card, oh, and the logo on the outside. And then you could use like your Cricut to cut out um, the sound in a shape, or just use some special scissors uh, to give it an edge. The C. So. Mike, if your printer has an option of um, different trays, this is where you'd select um, which tray to send your paper through. Mine, in my case, is uh, a rear tray, and so you can choose how many copies you want, and then when you're ready to print, just click on Print Now. Okay. So, as I said, I have this pre-scored cardstock that I used. Now I can do my embellishing, add whatever I want to the front, and on the back is my special logo I made. And then for the inside, I have my um, sentiment that I'm going to just fold in half. And, of course, you probably want to use a bone folder here. So what I would what I would recommend doing at this point would be um, actually trimming the edges, and I usually use the scalloped blade of my Fiskars uh, trimmer to give it a scalloped edge. You could use your crafting scissors and give it whatever edge you want, and then it's just a matter of how you mount it on the card. What I normally do is I run an adhesive line along the inside and then I just press it um, together and so that's what holds it in place and most of the time I put ribbon around it anyway too <laughs> so I would take my ribbon and run it along run it along the outside and then tie a bow on this side so that's how it goes that's how you can get the inside to your cards and you can put your own logos on the back. You can leave no logo on the back. You can do whatever you want to the card once you get to this point. So go out there and get creative. <laughs>